I'll, I'll give the example of my sandwich and coffee shop. When I first set it up, I set up, set up a sandwich and coffee shop when I was 19 years old. And a couple of years later, we became a partnership. And uh, a couple of years after that, we went limited, as do loads of companies. It's just a natural growth mm. of companies, isn't it? That's all you're really doing as the, as the, the, the land. The thing we haven't mentioned, though, mm. is you can't just do this if you have two or well, three houses. That is it. It has, it has to, to be this case yes. lot, I think, is the magic number eight? So this is where the grey is, okay, five is or gray. eight, yeah. and also the, the magic number, is, it, there is case law, and it said it's got to be a going concern. Mm. And I was well over a going concern, we had nearly 200 houses to move over, you know, it's, it's a going concern. It's been, you know, the hammer's gone down, the gavel's gone down, so it's eight, uh, or 20 hours, or it's a business. Now, if you have two HMOs, maybe you'd say, well, I clean them, I do this, it's a business. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's where... Yeah, specialist advice comes from. But that's not in any way um, strange or weird. You will have, the, you've got to take specialist advice on this because you will have, uh, at the end of it, and this is where an accountant, a solicitor, and a mortgage broker, having that round robin four way conversation facilitated by Adam looking at the one page landlord success plan is really important because you will have properties that have been moved into a limited company. But land registry still says it's in your name and your mortgages will still be in your name. And that is a challenge. Everybody needs to be aware of it. Some lenders are happy with it, some aren't. What if one of the lenders you're about to ask, you've also got five mortgages with them and that would sort of let the cat out of the bag? That would be a consideration. There's all sorts of things. I'm not saying it's totally navigable. Um, it's not. Um, you can definitely have something that's... Um, okay to a lender but um, sorry not okay to your lender but okay legally and to, to you've broken your lending covenant so you've got to be careful with all of those things and go into it absolutely understanding the, the way forward i had to be really careful yeah. about to make sure i, I didn't break anything which is why i, I didn't I, up, you know? <laughs> I specialize in recommending clients to the right people rather than trying to tell them what to do yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and i wouldn't pretend to yeah. uh, here's an interesting thing actually about the the, the one page landlord success plan and we're talking about advisors and today one of the one of the things we're going to talk about a lot of stuff get the questions answered one of the things will always be go speak to an advisor go speak to an advisor what are we experts? I don't mean it. John's an expert in accounting. What are we experts in? And I think it's the missing magic ingredient here. So you can have a solicitor who's an expert. You, you guys need to know who you're speaking to. What are you taking account for? What am I expert for? You're my solicitor. You're my accountant. You're my broker. What are we? We are expert landlords. We can pull it all together. We can tell you in our experience, that solicitor, mortgage broker and accountant working together works. I can't be this list of mortgage broker accountant. I can't give you their advice. But the advice we can give you is if you keep talking to that person about this and ask these three questions, they will end up giving you this yeah. advice. And then you need to go on that round robin to check that that round robin sort of keep going. Is that mortgage going to work with that? Is that debenture work? Does that shareholding work? All those kind of things that, you know, different circumstances they feel out. Because you can definitely get out of those three people, two of them agree and one of them disagree and it just doesn't work. We can facilitate that conversation. So it's... Yeah. <laughs>